graduation ceremony today. And so we have 11 children in our Liverpool service um, that we'll be dedicating. So we're here to witness this wonderful event uh, where the faith uh, parents uh, will dedicate their most prized possession, their children, to the Lord. You know, an example of, of this is uh, in the Bible, Hannah, a godly woman, she had a son named Samuel. And when she had Samuel, she dedicated Samuel to the Lord and said, Lord, use him all the days of his life. Well, Samuel grew up to be a mighty prophet of God. And so even Jesus, his parents dedicated him to the Lord when they were little. You know, you see, uh, we here at New Hope, we don't baptize babies because when they, they need to come to an age where they can make that decision for themselves to accept Christ in their heart. And when they do that, then they can go into the waters of baptism. But for our church, we dedicate them unto the Lord and say, Lord, we, we love our child. They're not ours. They're, they're yours. We're stewards of our children. So that's why we do our uh, child dedication here in our church. So the dedication act is to recognize the authority of Jesus Christ and a public statement that these parents will train up their children uh, in the Christian faith and instill in them the love of Christ. So let's meet um, uh, the children. We get to have them, the parents introduce them. We'll start from that. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Mia Bella. Ethan. This is Carmine. This is Levi. Woo! This is Jensen. And this is Jeremiah. It's Mason. Mason. Hi, Mason. This is Adrian and Tyson. child, your children, more than your life? Will you pray for them, instruct them in the, the biblical uh, doctrines of the Christian faith, teach them to read the word of God, and pray and lead a holy life? Take them to church, to children's church every Sunday, so they can learn about God, and do all that is in your power to bring them into the knowledge of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Amen. Can you say louder? We do! Alright, awesome. <laughs> Amen. Well, to you, the church family, our congregation here at New Hope, as a church, we bear responsibility to these families. Will you pray for them, encourage them in their faith as we grow together as a church family, and do all that is in your power to assist these children in coming to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? If you will make that covenant with the families, can you all rise and we say, yes, amen. And you hope, let's agree as we stand, as we pray over our kids, as you and I know that the enemy is after our kids, but we as a church, we got to contend for their lives, amen. So stretch out your hands, stretch out your hearts, and let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your anointing, God, to fall on every child that's on stage. I pray that your purposes are fulfilled through their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray that they grow up to fight and contend for the name of Jesus. I pray that in their schools they stand for what is right and what is just in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that your plans are accomplished in each and every one of them. Lord God Almighty, I pray that your word says that you train up a child in a way in which he should go, that when he is grown, he shall not depart from it. So that, God, is a responsibility of us parents to train up our kids. So God, in the name of Jesus, may you saturate the thoughts and the hearts of every parent to speak the word of God, to preach the word of God, to teach the word of God into their children, God, that then when they grow up, they will stand for your glory. So God, we give you the praise and all the glory and all the honor today. Saturate mom and dad and their children with your glory and your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Can we just say amen? amen.
Hallelujah. Praise God. Give them another round of applause.